Hello YouTube. Welcome back to Bald Man Building an Airplane. This is Aileron's video number nine. <clears throat> and in today's video, uh, looks like we're going to be doing the riveting of the top skin and top main ribs uh, to the spar. And maybe getting getting into the bottom skin as well. Um, once we make sure we get the twist out. <coughs> you may have noticed in the last couple of videos that I have sounded a bit stuffy. Uh, yeah, I got COVID. And that's... <coughs> Real life, of course, is well after these videos. Uh, the videos are a couple of weeks behind, so uh, there will be a large gap in production or, pro I don't know, creation of videos, but you guys won't notice if you're watching on YouTube because I spaced them out a bit. So, anyway, uh, yeah, I can't kick this cough, so I apologize if I'm coughing during this narration, so. Um... Yeah, we're just going down the spar. I believe every tenth rivet or something like that. Um, that doesn't look like every tenth. Oh, right, the top skin you just kind of go from, just sort of take take it easy and do a few down the down the spar, and uh, um, then you go back, pull the clecos, and do the others. The um, <clears throat> So, what I'm doing here is I'm creating some, oh, what do they call them, winding bars or something like that? I, I don't know exactly what they're called, but like, um, what it is, is um, you just, I've got these pieces of L stock that I'm going to Coleco to the spar. And then I can use them because the spar should be straight if there's no twist in the aileron. <coughs> there's that cough again. Um, the, the, the spar should be straight. Uh, and that means that these winding bars should be straight to one another, both visually and if I set a, like a digital level on them. And um, at this stage, only half the spar uh, rivets are set, so it shouldn't... Uh, any twist should be easily remedied, and there really shouldn't be very much um, ability to, to twist or to solve twist, really. Um, because that comes when you close up the front skin by putting the bottom skin on. <clears throat> um... So what I've done is I use those not only as guides, both to put a level on, but I also use them as levers in order to impart pressure on the spar to get twist out. Um, I briefly tried to use a laser level to sort of see the difference between them, but then I was like, the floor isn't exactly level with the table, the table isn't exactly level with the thing, so... Trying to do that was silly, and I just ended up going back to the um, digital level. And you can see I sort of like measure, 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 and then put some force on it and twist. So <clears throat> this is trying to make sure that it's as straight as possible before the bottom skin goes on. Because what happens is once that bottom skin goes on, whatever twist is in it is really locked in. So this is still the top skin's on, but the bottom skin is not. I'm just getting the last of the uh, twist out, double check, check in, triple check in. Um, and I also had to um, rivet the um, spar to the ribs. And that's a really tough job to do if some of the end pieces are on. So I kind of did this out of order with the plans where I put the... Um, 
the brackets on after I riveted the spar to the ribs. And you can see me doing that with a very long rivet set right here. Some of these rivets are still a pain in the butt to get to. Um, but anyway, we'll continue with this on the next one. Um, and I think we'll start the, the bottom skin. So we'll see you then. Thanks for stopping by.